I have overlined my lips and I'm not really sure why. This is Shanti from Shanti TV. Welcome back everyone to my channel. Uh, happy Labor Day weekend for those of you that are in the US. Some of you may have a three day weekend ahead of you. Uh, I do actually, <laughs> and it's gonna be nice to have a day off from work. Uh, I hope everyone is doing well. Last week uh, I had done my unboxing of my beautiful Mono Paname uh, Louis Vuitton Speedy Special Edition uh, that's sitting right behind me. And um, I had mentioned that I was gonna do kind of a health update. I think I'm gonna set that aside for a different video because I did wanna get this one out. So before I begin, I would like to welcome all my new subscribers. Hello, my name is Shanti and I put out videos every week. Uh, and then I also obviously want to uh, thank all of my returning subscribers. Uh, I really appreciate your dedication and love for my channel. If you like my, the videos that I put out, please give it a thumbs up, share it as much as you can, uh, comment down below, uh, and that is a way that you can help support this channel. So what will we be, we be talking about today? So, today's video is going to be about the classic Speedy Bee uh, Bandolier versus the special edition and special color Speedies. What's the difference? Is it worth it? Does it make sense to get one over the other? That's kind of what we're going to be talking about today. If you're interested in these kinds of videos, then stick around. Start. Before I get into the video, I just wanted to let you guys know I am still wearing my uh, pochette Matisse. Uh, I have been wearing this for the past couple of weeks. I have not gotten out of it. I probably should get up out of it because it's important to rotate your bags and I want to make sure that I'm using all of the bags that are in my closet. Uh, and if I'm not, they need to go up for sale. So I am still using this bag. I'm using this with the Odeon strap. Absolutely love this, love the organization, love everything about it. You guys know I like the Matisse pochette. Okay, so let's get into the uh, Speedy collection that I have here. So as you guys know, I have the Speedy 30 in the Damier Avine pattern. It is the Speedy Bandolier. I, I bought this back in June of 2012, so I bought this bag first. Uh, this was not my first Speedy, it was my second Speedy. The first Speedy that I purchased was an Epi Speedy in Ivory. Uh, and I have since sold that bag. I do not own that bag any longer, but I did end up keeping this bag. This bag is not leaving my collection. It is my holy grail. Uh, and, and recently using this, I absolutely fell in, back in love with this. So um, absolutely love this Speedy. Uh, and this is the Speedy 30 in Damier Abin. The next uh, classic bag that I have, this is another bandolier version. They do make the non-bandolier version. It is the Speedy 25 in the monogram canvas. And this was all the rage when I bought it back in 2012. Um, I bought this in October 2012. And it was a big deal. Like everybody was buying Speedy B25s. I mean, this was kind of the new big thing, kind of like the Speedy 20s are now. And so I ended up picking this one up. I always regretted not picking up the Damier Abin, but in hindsight, I would say that regret is now gone. Uh, and we're gonna get more into that in a minute. So um, this is my Speedy Bandolier. 25 in monogram. Okay, now on to my a special edition or special color speedies that I have. So this is the Speedy 25 in the beautiful cognac color. I purchased this last September 
and uh, every once in a while Louis Vuitton will put out special colors of a standard style that they have. Uh, this year they are doing the wine color. Last year they put out the cognac color. I absolutely fell in love with this color. I was looking at the wine color but so far it's a no-go for me but I do absolutely love this cognac color. All right, and as you know, last week I picked up this special edition, uh, Speedy 25. Uh, this is a limited edition and it is in the Mono Paname uh, canvas, uh, which is like they're on the website, they say it's an, a beige and an ochre color. Uh, which is how they're kind of calling it. Absolutely adore this. Uh, it's got kind of a special print on it. It's a special, obviously it's a special monogram print as well as it has this street sign. Uh, on the back side, it does not have the street sign, but you do see that beautiful, gorgeous canvas uh, that is brand new. I've never seen this color actually, uh, this color canvas. So. Um, and I believe there is some more canvas, more lighter color canvas coming out in the women's line soon. So I'll be also looking forward to seeing that as well. So for today's video, I'm really going to use this bag as kind of the standard one that I compare against because this is a size 25. Um, there are some differences between the Speedy that you would purchase now versus the, the Speedy that I purchased back in 2012. One of the things that I know is different are the chaps. The chaps now are puffier. You'll see that in my newer Speedies. The other difference that you will see in the Speedies that you purchase now is that the inside has a, a zippered closure, uh, whereas I just have a slip pocket. So that is kind of the difference between one of these speedies that you would purchase now versus the one that I have. Um, just a kind of quick, you know, quick comparison here. Obviously you have monogram canvas, you have the beautiful Vachetta, which this Vachetta seriously like needs to be cleaned so bad. I have worn the heck out of this. It's a 10 year old bag guys. This, <laughs> this is what a 10 year old bag looks like. I mean, it is still in very good condition, but if you can see, I've got marks here. Um, the, the hardware tends to kind of make marks on the Vachetta, so I really need to clean that. I did have this padlock actually sitting on the side, which then also caused some dark streaks. There you go. So you can see kind of the dark streaks that I have. You can see my handles are worn. They've got marks on them. I mean, it is a well-loved Speedy. So. Just, um, yeah, this is what the overview of this bag looks like. I did want to show you the padlock on this bag because you're going to see a little bit of a difference on the other ones. Okay, so if you look at this padlock, you'll see an LV on it. I want to show you this padlock because there are differences between all three of them, actually. Um, so I wanted to show that to you. Even if I clean this padlock, it would not look the same as the other ones. I also wanted to make a correction about what I said. I think it was last week. This strap comes with three pieces. I think I said it came with two, but it's actually three separate pieces. Um, the other two bags do not come with three pieces. This one does, uh, which gives uh, this bag a little bit more of an advantage of how to wear it. I can wear it with a short strap. I can wear it with a long strap, which I really like. So that is one of the differences. Let's look at uh, the beautiful Cognac Speedy 25 as a comparison first. So here is the beautiful Cognac Speedy. Um, Right away, some of the main key differences that I see is the color of the hardware. So here is the gold, beautiful hardware that's on the Speedy 
$25. Okay, I just wanted to show you how shiny the gold hardware is on the Speedy 25 in the Empreinte leather. I mean, just immediately you can kind of see there is definitely a difference between the two hardware. On the cognac, so obviously the biggest difference is the material that it's made out of. This is made out of the beautiful Empreinte leather. You can get Empreinte leather with the, um, where the LVs are like much smaller print. When they make Speedy 25s, they're actually making in this large Empreinte print. And I think that does make a difference. It looks different on different bags and so, uh, depending on what bag you're getting, you're either getting kind of the smaller print or the larger print. But on this uh, Speedy 25, you're getting the larger print. Uh, the other key difference on this particular Speedy is that on the Empreinte, the opening comes all the way down the side. How beautiful is that? I absolutely love that. So. When you're looking at the difference between the monogram print and the Empreinte print, you are getting a just an easier opening to get to the sides. I know some people have commented on my videos, and those of you who comment, thank you very much. I read all, every single comment. Um, some of you like that it doesn't go down the side on the regular speedies, which is kind of interesting. And sometimes when Louis Vuitton puts out special edition speedies, first of all, I have not seen a special edition speedy lately in a size 30. They keep putting them out in the 25s and the 20s, which is pretty interesting. But when they have put out some special edition speedies, they're not extending the zipper down to the down the side. They sometimes will do that on the 20s and then other times they won't. I think on the monoglam they did not do that. So it just depends, I guess, on who's doing the design and how what the final product is. Uh, the other difference, major difference, is the interior of the bag is lined with this beautiful microfiber lining that matches the outside of the bag. So on the inside of the monogram, you have the brown lining. On the inside of the cognac, you have this absolutely gorgeous microfiber lining, which gives this bag a very luxe, luxe, elevated feeling. The other thing, obviously, that I have as a difference because my speedy, my monogram speedy is a lot older, is that I have a zippered pouch. <laughs> there we go. I have a zippered pouch versus a flat pocket. And I guess since it's zippered, I guess on the new ones you can't do this either. Uh, I'm not really sure. You guys tell me. For those of you who, who have kind of the latest rendition of the monogram canvas, can you guys, do you guys have a flat pocket that has a zipper? Can you do this or not? Um, so I can't do this on my other Speedy. This is a good one. So on the side of the Speedy, So on the side of the Speedy, you can see it says a 25. I hope you can see it. It says 25. On the Empreinte Speedy, I have yet to find anywhere where it says size 25 on it. So I can't really find that it says size 25 anywhere. The other difference is I have a zip pocket on this side and I have a flap pocket on this side. And obviously this opening is just insane. So let's move on to my latest, latest acquisition. Uh, and this is the Amano Paname. I also want to show you the hardware on this. Very different. Here is the monogram. Mono Paname. Uh, 
and the emperant. I would say the emperant, oh, and look at this. The size of this D-ring is actually smaller than the size of this D-ring and this D-ring, which is kind of interesting. This is smaller. Yeah, I would say the hardware on this is super shiny, less shiny, least shiny. Okay, some of the other differences. This is really cool on this special edition Speedy. I'm going to show you. Guys, this is one of the things that I love. So if you look here, you'll see 25 and it's kind of stamped in gold. I love these kinds of details. This to me is like, this is what Louis Vuitton is about. This is what they need to go back to. Uh, little details like that. I want to show you another detail on this special edition Speedy. Okay, you will see the lock where it says LV. It has a circle around it. It is different than the other two locks, not only in color, but the actual print that's on it. So this special edition Speedy is supposed to really mirror this Speedy it's supposed to really be the same. And it's funny because I did go back and look in the description. Remember you guys, I talked to you about the strap issue that I have with this bag. It actually, the strap description matches the strap description on the monogram canvas. And I think one of my subbies had actually pointed that out that they think it's a defect. I'm starting to think that that's a true statement because in the description, um, it states that it's the same length as this. So I'm not really sure what happened with the manufacturing portion for the strap on this particular Speedy. Not too happy about it and I'm gonna see if I can take this up the LV chain because there's something seriously, seriously wrong with that. So as you can see, this Speedy 25 does not go down on the sides. It is a mirror of the monogram canvas. The inside is exactly the same as my other monogram Speedy, except it has a zipper. And the inside color is different than the brown textile. It's in the this beautiful kind of yellowish dark yellow color which to me looks like I don't know it's it's just a beautiful color I can you tell I'm in love with this speedy I really am <laughs> so this speedy currently retails for $1,820 this speedy retails for $2,480 and this Speedy retails for $27.10. I want to give you guys a secret though. This Speedy is the same price as the other Emprunt Speedies. So the fact that it's a special color, they did not raise the price on this. I don't know if they're going to continue to do that. But if you wanted to get into kind of special colors, special editions, limited colors, this might be a way to go if you wanted to capture one in your collection. So this, the price of this is the same as the other Emprunt Speedies. This, however, obviously was more. This is a limited edition uh, Speedy. It's 2480 versus normal monogram, which is 1820 now. So in terms of branding and logos and you know trying to figure out what you want the interesting thing is I would say this is probably the most calm speedy that's in my collection in terms of not being really loud with its logos yes the logos are there 
they're kind of bigger but you can't really see them because they're the same color as the cognac and on the sides you will see that there is no branding so when you're actually holding the bag like this there's no branding but it on the sides you can see so this is probably the least loud of all three of them then i would say this is my this is the one that's kind of medium loud obviously it's monogram print screams louis vuitton and this one you're not getting away from it so on this side <clears throat> you can see the branding and then on this side not only does it have the canvas it's got a big blue street sign in your face to let you know that it's louis vuitton but this is kind of why this bag is considered a special edition it's because Louis Vuitton likes to come out with different designs, different prints of standard bags that they have, and they hope that you will purchase one. So that's some of the pricing information that I have. Um, limited editions come out every year. So if there is something that you like, obviously you do have to make a decision on whether you want that in your collection or not. Um, but every season, LV is gonna come out with limited edition, so don't feel FOMO. We talked about that a little bit. But if you have your eye on something, which I had my eye on this, and the reason I had my eye on this is because of this canvas. I'd never seen this canvas before, and I absolutely fell in love with it, and I just wanted something special in my collection in terms of a speedy because i am a huge speedy fan so i decided on that one but i'm going to tell you something if i didn't get that one louis vuitton is going to come out with more special editions <laughs> that's their jam so pros and cons um pros of having a limited edition is obviously not everyone's going to have one right so you have something in your collection that's unique to you and only a few people they only manufacture but so many of these and once it's sold out it's gone you typically are not going to find it again and if you do you will have to buy it resale and typically if you're buying it resale it's a way more money than what you would have purchased it from a louis vuitton so those are some of the pros of having a limited edition if i ever wanted to get rid of um, some of my limited editions. My expectation is that I would get a little bit more bang for my buck out of the limited editions that I do have in my collection. Some of the cons of having a limited edition could be, let's say something went really, really wrong with this bag and I'm not trying to jinx myself, but you know, this is a new, potentially a new process that Louis Vuitton, you know, it's a new manufacturing process potentially that they have tried on this bag, right? The Kusama bag, if you think about the way that they, you know, put the um, dots on there. I think this is very similar to that. Hopefully, right? When they, when, when, sometimes when manufacturers do new things, they don't really know what problems are going to come. So let's say something happens to this. Well, guess what? If this becomes a defect, most likely I'm not going to be able to replace this bag unless they actually have another one. So that it would be a con. If something goes wrong with this bag, most likely I would have to be okay to let this go. Hopefully nothing is gonna happen with this bag. I trust that Louis Vuitton has tested this process and I hope that all these things that are on here don't come peeling off or whatever other issue they may have. So that is a con of having a limited edition bag. Price is always a factor. Uh, typically, again, for this bag, it is more expensive. On the flip side, if you're getting a special color, I did not pay more than I would have for a Turtle Dove uh, Emperant uh, Speedy 25. So on the flip side, if you want a special color, that might be uh, a better thing, but typically cons are they are generally more expensive than your standard bag. So for special editions and special colors, I feel like, uh, 
if you are a lover of the Louis Vuitton brand and I am a huge lover of just the speedy in general. I have always been. I have, I think, videos back from 10 years ago where I just go into my speedy collection. It was, it, it is truly one of my favorite uh, styles uh, for me to carry. It's easy for me to carry. It's lightweight. It has a ha top handle. It has a crossbody strap. Uh, I just, I like it. It works well with my lifestyle. So for me, I wanted to grab a special color and a limited edition since I have some of the, what I consider classics. Uh, the one now new classic that's not in my collection still is the Speedy 20. So I hope at some point to grab a Speedy 20 and I'm trying to figure out if I should get kind of the classic or if I should wait for a limited edition. And that's why I have not added one yet, but thinking about it, really, really thinking about it. Some of you guys are like, I just need a Speedy in my collection. I would always focus you more towards a classic uh, Speedy, whether it's in a you know, monogram, emprunt, damier azor, or one of the leather, you know, classic colors that come out. Those are going to go with your wardrobe better. You're not going to have to like do different things <laughs> to get your, you know, get your bag to match your outfit. So that is kind of nice. But so anyway, what do you guys think? What are you into? Do you guys like classic? Are you like team classic or are you team limited edition? Or do you like to have a little bit of both sprinkled in your collection? Obviously, I am like to have a little bit of both sprinkled in my collection just for some diversity. So I want to thank you guys for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this video that I put out on classic versus limited edition speedies. Um, I am really, really happy to have all of these in my collection and I hope you enjoyed me sharing them with you today. Uh, I hope you have a fabulous week. I will talk to you guys next week. Ciao.